So tonight, I was playing God of War and something actually hit me pretty hard. It hit me square in the face because I just had a conversation with the guy just today and actually within the last week talking about how I get these feelings nowadays where games just don't hit as good as they used to. They don't hit as hard as they used to. I don't really get locked onto them like I used to. And usually what is said is, oh, you're just getting older and, you know, maybe you're just used to it. You're, you're not a, you don't have that oh, this is amazing because it's the first time I've seen this, you know, anymore. Like, they, like that was just something that was going to happen. Like, you were going to get in your 30s or 40s and think, I've been playing games for 20 years, 30 years, whatever, however old you are, that you, these years you've been playing games, you're just going to get tired of it. And you know what? I started to think maybe that's true. Maybe that was true that, you know, I've played Call of Duty for 15 years and I'm getting older. Maybe I just suck at the game or, you know, or maybe it just it's just not hitting me as, as good as the old ones did. But, you know, so it almost made me think that that was true, that I was just getting older and maybe I was falling out of love with games. I just wasn't really into it anymore. But tonight, I was playing God of War and I had another moment where I was playing this game and I was just like, wow, <laughs> this is incredible. It looks incredible. It sounds incredible. The gameplay is incredible. I'm just like, this game is like it deserves 10 out of 10. And I, I haven't finished the game yet. I'm not going to sit here and say I finished the game, but God of War Ragnarok is an incredible game. It is an incredible amount of attention to detail, uh, depth in this game. All of it is so freaking good. The environments, the variety, the combat can be just as good as you want it to be because it is basically completely reflective of your skill and using all the abilities and tools they give you, you can do some amazing things in combat that it's like you never ever feel like you're just doing the same move over and over and over again. Just story-wise, the story keeps you like just into it. You're sucked into it. You don't know what's gonna happen. And then on top of that story, the plot being so good, the writing is, oh my God, dude. The writing is better than anything I've seen in movies or games in the last 10, 15 years. It's incredible. There are so many things like I'm someone who gets real tired of cliches or things like I hate it when I can predict what's going to happen or like when let's say like you watch a movie and you, you think, man, I wish he would just go ahead and say this, but I know they're going to drag it out because we got to get through another hour of this or with games, you'll say, oh, he's not going to say it because, you know, they're going to probably save that for 10, 10 hours later at the end of the game. Then he'll say what you wanted him to say. This this game does not do that. It, the writing is so good. They literally just like, when you want them to say something, I remember just thinking to myself, man, I wish Kratos would say this right now. And then the ne next second he says it. And I'm like, wow, you, you, man, they just, they do that multiple times where I wish he would say something to Freya. I wish he would say something to Treyas. And the writing is so good that it doesn't go down those old tropes of, well, we need to drag this out and make it into something so we can have 10 more hours of this game. The, the writing is just amazing, okay? I don't know what else to say. Like, it's just so good. It's so, uh, it subverts expectations. You know, when I start to, like, predict something, it's like they kind of, like, they throw me a curveball. And I love that. I absolutely love that. And just this whole package, man. The quality of this game, the story, the plot, the gameplay, the open areas, the, the how beautiful it is graphically, how well it runs. There's 120 frames per second mode on this game for PS5. That's incredible. Everything all together creates this perfect, amazing game that makes my mind explode like it did when I was a kid and I started first started playing those games. And it made me realize that I'm not getting tired of games. I'm not. <laughs> because I love the feelings that I get when I experience something new and creative and something that is just very well executed, just like God of War Ragnarok. I just think maybe at some point between the PS3 era to now, you know, with the 360 to now with the Series X and Series S, and you know, for some, I mean, just there's just with those console generations, something happened where we stopped seeing the creativity in games the way that we see in God of War Ragnarok. Those, they were, it seemed like every game that came out on the PS2 back in the day was something different, and they were trying new things, new combat styles, new cameras. Uh, a new graphic style. It was always something new. Like your creativity was just explosive back then, before all the money got involved. Because I feel like when the money got involved, that's when they were like, "All right, let's just keep doing the same thing." And then video games became 
a cookie cutter. It was just straight up cookie cutter. You know, here's the next Call of Duty. Here's the next Call of Duty. Here's the next Call of Duty. And you know, everybody else wants to do a shooter. They start showing their, throwing their shooters in there. There's a few racing games, and everybody's throwing racing games out. But nobody was ever really doing anything like just new or original. It was all pretty much the same, but just different skins. And some of those games control better than others. Obviously, Call of Duty has the best controls out of any shooter that I know of. When you boil it down, it's just another shooter. When did the gaming industry just become this? You know, there's still games that still make me go, wow. Okay, God of War Ragnarok is one of those games. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man, when it came out, was one of those games. Uh, Forza Horizon, those games, you know, with their, their amazing set pieces. Those are some of those games that just make me go, wow. But God of War Ragnarok has literally made me say wow multiple times in my head throughout this 20 hours or 30 hours I've put into it already. Like I said, I have not finished the game. I love the story so far. I have no idea what's going to happen, how it's going to end, you know, besides a few spoilers that I saw on TikTok. But, man, this game literally reminds me why I love gaming. I don't know how else to say it. Like that is like to me that is like the highest level of praise I can give a game is that this game reminds me of how I felt when I was a kid playing new games. And it was just something new and creative and something I had never seen before. Something that literally just makes your jaw hit the floor. That is God of War Ragnarok. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> Anyways, I know this is a short video guys. I just I wanted this to be said because uh I, this game deserves all the praise it's getting. I hope it gets game of the year. I absolutely love this game. It goes beyond expectations so many times. <laughs> I just You really have to play this game for yourself. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope you have a good night. I'm really tired. It's really late. And uh, we've had you know long holidays. Happy late Thanksgiving. Happy early Merry Christmas. <laughs> And uh, Happy New Year, whenever you're watching this video. Uh, I hope you have a great holiday, a great weekend, great week. And I will see you again in another video here very soon. Later, guys.